Prince Harry and Meghan Markle love to complain. A royal commentator has claimed it is he reason why the couple's popularity has plummeted in the U.S. Commentator Lee Cohen claims America's infatuation with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has significantly cooled as their image of a modern fairy tale swiftly transcended into moaning wingers. Harry and Meghan just love to complain, Cohen shared, as he explained the couple's downhill spiral, which took all but four years for the nation to fall out of love with the couple. He added that their incessant winging is a bad look in America's largely optimistic society. While some view the couple's openness as a brave stance against institutional rigidity, many others perceive it as ungrateful and divisive. The Sussex's endless narrative of grievance has alienated many who once admired their candor. After dramatically stepping down as working royals in 2020, Harry and Meghan relocated to California, via Canada, where they promptly set up a career in slagging the royal family off. While they positioned themselves as inspirational and aspirational agents of change through their charitable organization, the Our Chewell Foundation, Cohen said the couple's story, a charming prince and the glamorous actress, at first seemed like a Hollywood script come to life, and that America welcomed Harry and Meghan as a royal couple we could claim as our own. However, after the couple gave Oprah awards and all interview, the release of Harry's explosive memoir Spare, and the couple's six-hour Netflix series which divided audiences and critics, America started to turn off the couple. Cohen explained, Americans don't mind their stars emoting. We don't have the stiff upper lip that you Brits possess, but we have our limits, too. Cohen went on to say that the couple's relentless media presence led to overexposure and even fatigue, and highlighted how they have become the butt of many jokes. This includes Chris Rock ripping apart Meghan's claim that the royal family were racist towards her as just some in-law shit, and a South Park episode where Harry and Meghan embarked on a worldwide privacy tour as the pair both courted the media and sued it. Last year, a Spotify exec slammed the couple as freaking grifters as their podcast deal was axed. More recently, Prince Harry came under fire for accepting the Pat Tillman Award for service. Pat's mom, Mary Tillman said there were far more fitting potential winners.